Hi guys, I'm Camille and today I am taking you with me on a train ride with Freccia Rossa. So in this video I will show you what it is like to travel in standard class, then we will move up to business class and we will finish in the executive class which is the most luxurious one here. So now it's time to go catch our first train, let's go! Our first train is traveling from Roma Termini to Torino Porta Susa. It will be a 4 hour and 39 minutes ride in standard class and my ticket costs 39 euros and 90 cents. We're in coach number 7. As you can see the coach is pretty standard with several rows of seats. We are very lucky to have four facing seats just for the two of us. We just put our luggage in the huge compartments above our heads and we can start enjoying the ride. My seat is a leather-like grey material. It's quite comfortable, even though I don't have that much leg room and the armrest is not very large. I also found a control to slightly adjust the seat's position. Each seat has its own folding tray table with shared power outlets and USB ports. We also share coat hangers and a common bin for trash. If wanted, we can close the blinds manually. In standard, no food is included, so we decided to bring our own snacks. Thanks to the high-speed Wi-Fi, I get to send a few emails and watch my series on Netflix. I love how you can follow the ride through several screens in each coach, showing the overall itinerary, the next stop, the arrival times, and even the weather forecast for each stop. Luckily, as it is a day ride, we get to enjoy the beautiful Italian landscapes, as they change a lot from Rome to Torino, because our destination is so close to the Alps. Before our train ride ends, we decide to play a card game, and of course I win. And that's it, we've arrived in Torino. Our second train is traveling from Milano Centrale to Roma Termini. It will be a 3 hour and 10 minutes ride in business class, and my ticket costs 70 euros and 90 cents. We're in coach number two, and it is a bit more high-end than the standard. This time, we're in two facing seats instead of four. Before sitting, we put our luggage away, and I'm pleased to notice that there is even more room in business for luggage. I really enjoy this seat. It is very, very comfortable, and I can recline it quite easily and even get to adjust the headrests. Each seat has its own folding tray table and its own power outlets and USB ports. As we're in business, we get a welcome snack and beverage for free, and it's actually quite good. During this ride, I also get to use the high-speed Wi-Fi and admire the beautiful landscapes as we cross through the Italian countryside. Here too, we have screens that update us on our journey. We also get to play our card game again, as we are face to face. And that's it, we've arrived in Rome. Our last train is traveling from Paris Gare de Lyon to Milano Centrale. It will be a 7 hour and 15 minutes ride in the executive class, and my ticket costs 175 euros, as it's approximately 100 euros more expensive than standard class. So, let's see if it's worth it. We're in coach number one and immediately you can see how high-end it is. So the coach has its own kitchen, a meeting room with a screen, and only 10 seats. We put our luggage away above our heads and get to discover our seats. The first thing I notice is how much space each seat has. The legroom is insane and the seat is also super wide. The seat options are just a game changer. You can put your legs up, recline your back, and even turn your seat around to face someone else. You also have a secret table in your seat, several power outlets and USB ports, as well as storage room for a small bag or books. The only thing is that Paolo's seat is quite far away from mine, so we can play or speak without being loud and bothering our neighbors. So for me, the coolest thing in executive is that you get unlimited food during your trip. For breakfast, we got a croissant, madeleines, a snack bar, coffee and tea. And for lunch, we chose to start by sharing an Italian plate of charcuterie with a mozzarella and some other kind of cheese. 
and then the main plate was a risotto for Paolo and a plate of pasta al ragu for me. Honestly, for trained food, it was actually quite good. Once I'm done eating, I get to enjoy the free Wi-Fi once again. I'm actually a bit disappointed because I can barely see the landscapes we're crossing through, as there is a giant sticker on the train windows with only very tiny holes to see what's going on outside. So that's it. We finally arrive at Milano Centrale. Thank you so much for watching the video. I will be posting very soon some new food and travel videos in Rome. So if you'd like to see that, don't hesitate to subscribe.